Hi you guys, welcome back. Okay, so for today's video, I just wanted to do something a little different. I wanted to go ahead and just swatch out my new Nomad Keys Beachy and Peachy palette. This is their latest release and they sent it to me in PR and it's just so beautiful and colorful that I wanted to go ahead and swatch it out with you guys. Look at the box. And this is what the cover of the palette looks like, but it's so cute. I love the flamingos, the drinks, the key lime pie, the dolphins, and it's just so beautiful, vibrant, and colorful. But yeah, I'm really loving the whole color story of this palette. Of course, you guys know I love colorful palettes, and this one does not disappoint. But I wanted to go ahead and swatch it out on my skin tone so you guys can see what it looks like just in case you're trying to decide if you um, want to purchase it. You know, we'll kind of take a look at it side by side with some of their other colorful palettes. Maybe you don't feel like you need it, but we'll go ahead and take a look and compare. I also wanted to show you guys whenever they send out the PR, they send this cute little postcard with it from wherever it is that the destination is. This one says, greetings from the Florida Keys, wish you were here. And it also has information on the back regarding the palette. So let me just read that for you guys. It says, the destination is the southernmost point in the continental U.S., the Florida Keys. It's a tropical paradise with laid back, come as you are, feel. Connected by the oversea, Overseas Highway, this archipelago <laughs> is an oasis of color soaked vistas marine life sanctuaries and days of fun in the sun activities with the blue skies key lime pies and five it's five o'clock somewhere vibes it's no wonder that close to perfect far from normal is their motto as Hemingway said life is good in the Florida Keys the only thing missing is you well now you have arrived this palette Tropical Goodness, a collection of tropical hues from sun-washed yellows, peaches, and key limes to richly soaked purples, blues and sunset corals, 11 fun in the sun mats, 7 glistening on water shimmers, and inspired by the always sunny Florida Keys. Now the cause that they're supporting with, um, you know, a portion of the purchase of this palette is they're proud to support the Dolphin Research Center. It saves and protects dolphins and other marine mammals in the Florida Keys. So that's just some information about this specific palette. Let's go ahead and jump in and start doing some swatches. Now, I'm not used to filming with the overhead, you know, camera. So I'm just going to go in and try and get my arm in here as much as possible <laughs> so we can start swatching. I apologize if I'm out of frame, but we're going to try and do this as best as, as easily as possible. Okay, y'all? So let me get me some wipes handy, and then we'll go ahead and start swatching. So this first shade here is called Sunrise Salute. The next one is Key Lime Time, and then we have Conch Republic. So I'm going to try and do, you know, three fingers at once with picking up these shadows and I like to you know give it a good twirl so that you can really see the colors in the swatches so that is sunrise salute that is key lime time and this one is conch republic so that's the first three Next, we have Sea Meets Sky. I almost hate to uh, swatch it because the imprints are so pretty, but I'm going to use it so it's perfectly fine. This red or this kind of, what is this, like a beautiful red orangey shimmer is called Rum Runner. And then this one here is called Marathon. This color is really pretty. I really, really like this. So that's the next three. So that one is Sea Meet Sky. This one is Rum Runner. And this one is Marathon. I'm gonna put a little bit more Marathon on there so you can see the true color there. Next we have Close to Perfect. Far From Normal. 
like a blue. Oh, that's pretty. I like that color. And then Key Largo. A good amount of Key Largo. And so far, they all feel really nice, nice and smooth. So that one is close to perfect. Far from normal. And Key Largo. Next, we have Key West, which is this gorgeous, deep, dark purple. Come as you are. And Paradise Found. Let's see if I can scoochy scoochy a little bit. Okay. So that's those three. Ooh, those are pretty, really pretty. Next we have, is that Isla Morada? Isla Morada, it's like a light peachy tan shade. Uh, dry Tortugas, <laughs> dry Tortugas. Ooh, that's pretty, nice and smooth. This one is Southernmost Point. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, pick up a little more of that. So that's those three. I'm not going to try to say those names again. Those were a little difficult. <laughs> Except for the southernmost point. Even that was a little tricky. Okay, those are gorgeous. And then we have the last three, which is Shipwreck Trail. A gorgeous like this is a little bit of a deeper peachy shade this one is overseas highway another one of those gorgeous blue shades that I like and then lastly we have sunset celebration ooh now that is pretty I know that's gonna look gorgeous on the eyes so shipwreck trail overseas highway hopefully I'm in frame and Sunset Celebration. So those are the last three. So the way that my filming setup right now is, this is an easier angle for me to just show you guys my whole arm up close. Really, really pretty. I love these colors. They're gorgeous, fun, playful. Okay, so we'll back up a bit and then I'll go ahead and just compare it to a couple of their other colorful palettes. Okay, you guys, so I did go ahead and push the camera back some so that you guys can see the swatches along with the palette. What I do like about the swatches of the palette, the palette is not like full of dust and full of, you know, eyeshadow and everything from me twirling around and swirling around in there. So I can see that they're not super duper pow powdery with a whole lot of kickback. And I do like that. So yeah, I'm liking this color story. I think they nailed it. And I think the packaging looks really, really cute. I really, really like it. So let's go ahead and just take a look at this palette next to some of my other colorful nomad palettes and see what we have okay so the first palette i want to set up next to it is the nomad royal europe and i think what i'm going to do since this palette has a mirror in it and i don't want to blind you guys i'm going to use the postcard to cover up most of the mirror and hopefully that helps some but let's go ahead and just take a look at these two palettes side by side and see if we see any similarities, which just off top, looking at it um, side by side, I don't really see any shades that really look very similar. This palette is a lot more deep and rich and just kind of what I would say grungy. All of the shimmers, you know, are the gorgeous multi-chromes that they have. And these shimmers are really just your basic uh, shimmers. There's nothing like super sparkly or super exciting about these shimmers in this new palette. They're really just normal, everyday, clean, you know, easy to use basic shimmers, which is gorgeous. It's beautiful. It's perfect for 
you know, just everyday looks or even really pretty vibrant looks, but it doesn't have a lot of sparkle and glitz and glam to it. And definitely not, you know, the multi-chrome situation going on. Um, yeah, just looking at it, I was going to say maybe this shade here in the new palette might be kind of close to this shade, but honestly, I really don't think it is. Even this shade is way deeper just, you know, looking at it than this shade from the new palette. They're both gorgeous, gorgeous shades. But yeah, very, very different in my opinion. Not similar at all. So honestly, looking at these two palettes, I really don't see any shades to truly compare. They're both very, very different. So the next palette I wanted to take a look at is this one, which is the Paradise Islands. Gorgeous, beautiful, you know, tropical vibe palette. And this one has a mirror as well, so... I don't think <laughs> that's going to cut it. So what I'm gonna do is put the next palette <laughs> on top of that mirror so it doesn't blind you guys. Got that mirror covered, okay. So let's take a look at these two palettes because they're both very colorful, very vibrant, and there might be some similar shades. Hmm, let's see. So this super light pink shimmer, no. These two, no, because mm -mm, that's a like peachy shimmer. So this one and this one maybe. Hmm. So this is Moon from the Paradise palette. Let's compare it to Key Largo and Rum Runner. So these are those shimmers and they do not really look alike to me. Just you know, from the blind eye. They look like they would definitely pair well together in an eye look, but yeah, they, they're they not alike. They're all very, three different, different colors. These two, hmm, yeah, no, mm -mm, they're all different. Um, Let's see here. So that's a, a darker pink. We have a light green shimmer. But no, that's very different than this one. Not similar, in my opinion, at all. Nope, very, very different. You can see those two there. Very different. Hmm. These greens are darker. Now this shade here, this is a gorgeous blue shimmer, but once again, it looks different to me than this one. They are similar. They are very similar. But this one, which is Shark from the Paradise palette, and this one, which is Paradise Found. Hmm. Yeah, they're very different to me. Two different colors. Uh, let's see. Now, these two shades, this is Stingray from the Paradise palette, and this is Marathon from the new Beachy palette. Nope, even those two, different, totally different undertones. Both beautiful colors, but yeah, very different. Uh, let's see, is there anything else we can compare? Hmm. No, that's a dark blue. Dolphin. Let's take a look at Dolphin compared to Marathon. Nope. Dolphin is lighter. Still two beautiful shades that um, would probably pair very nicely together in an eye look, but two different colors. Let's see here. No. No. And no, let's just for giggles, take a look at this beautiful purple shimmer and compare it to Come As You Are. Nope, Come As You Are is very, very much more blue than purple. So 
yeah, these palettes are completely different. <laughs> Same, you know, kind of vibe, but yeah, very, very different. Bosque Nuboso de Monteverde. So we just going to call this the Monteverde palette. <laughs> <laughs> keep it simple i love this palette oh my gosh i love it love it love it uh to this point i'm thinking it's my favorite um and i'm just covering the mirror with this palette so i don't want you to get confused that this is the paradise palette because it's not i'm just covering you know what let me just do that <laughs> so you don't get confused this is the monteverde palette okay so let me wipe off these swatches off my hand most of the shades look to be darker. So, hmm, honestly, let's see. Is there anything? No, because that's flat out orange. This is really more of a red orange. Now, these two yellows might be similar. Let's take a look. So, this is Toucan, and this is Far From Normal. So, that's Toucan, and that's Far From Normal. So... Those are the two yellows. I mean, they both just look like yellow. The toucan looks a little bit lighter, in my opinion, but not enough for it to be a, a dramatic difference. I really, really love that shade. This one, very similar to Marathon, but still different. Marathon is leaning more blue. And this one is leading more teal. <laughs> so those two are very different as well. Very different blues. Hmm. Yeah, no. Oh, the shade here is gorgeous. <laughs> uh, yeah, this um, Passiflora. Oh, that's gorgeous. Now that one is a, a little bit... Um, giving me a little bit of kick up, which I'm not surprised because with that color, I've noticed that you can get more kick up than other shades. Now those two look very similar. Okay, those two look almost identical. I don't know if I'm misreading it, you guys tell me, but those two shades look pretty identical. One might be just slightly lighter than the other, but if I put them on my eyes, they're going to look the same. <laughs> um, let's see. Yeah, this purple, I can tell. Is it Sabruine? I could tell, you know, just by looking at it, two different purples. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see that on the camera, but the one in the Key West palette is more blue. And then the uh, violet one from the Mata Verde palette is more, you know, I don't know, I guess just straight up purple. So two different tones of purple. They're both gorgeous. And you see that pigmentation? Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. So yeah, honestly, I would say even with these two palettes being so similar in how they look just right off the bat because they're both so super colorful there's really only one shade that i would say is pretty much like the same and that's this shade here and that's actually an absolutely gorgeous shade so <laughs> i'm glad that is in here so yeah that is it for the comparisons with nomad palettes and you know, I would definitely say it's worth a grab if you like colorful palettes for sure. It's worth picking up because, you know, it's a beautiful formula from what I feel um, from the swatches. Nicely pigmented. I feel like it's going to um, look nice on the eyes and I'm so, so very thankful that they sent it to me. So yeah, that's gonna do it for this swatch video, you guys. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. If you decide you do wanna purchase it, I do have a discount code where you can save like 10% with Nomad. It's Camille10. Um, it's in the description box of this video. And yeah, let me know what you think because I think it's a beautiful palette. So that's it for today, you guys. Thanks again so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like and that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I will see you on my next video.
Toodles. Just text, I know it's a toss up, oh, but I hate the fact that we lost such a. Hey.